AI editing tools that can make your life easy as an editor. Hey guys, this is Cheyenne and I have the experience of producing over thousands of videos and I have edited each of them so I know what I'm talking about and in this little tutorial I'm going to show you a few AI tools that have revolutionized the way that video was edited. Now if you are not leveraging these AI tools then probably you are wasting your time, money and energy as well. So don't skip any part of it because this is covered with secret AI tools that I personally use in my business and that helps me in saving hundreds of of hours while editing now if that sounds interesting to you then please stick on with me till the end of this tutorial and again as i told you don't skip any part of it the last tool is one of the most interesting tool that you can think about with that being said let's jump over to the tutorial and let's start So the first tool that we are going to use is Filmora and Filmora has actually created this AI toolbox in which it has got many AI functionalities. Now we are going to actually touch upon the most important functionalities of AI within Filmora. So the first of them is called AI text to video. Now in here you can actually give it a script and it will go ahead and produce a video for you. So let's try that out. Now you can even leverage the AI to generate the contents for you. So just click on generated by AI and then select the kind of video that you want and then enter the topic and then you can give more details as well. So I've given like ranking on YouTube and three tips to rank your videos on YouTube, right? And then in here I can click on generate text and it will create the script for us. So let's wait. And boom, as you can see, it has been created over here. Now, you can go ahead and actually create it on any language that you want to. And then you have the option of choosing the voiceover as well. There are plenty of voiceover artists available. You can even clone your voice. As you can see, the cl voice cloning is available as well. Now, you can also go ahead and change the video ratio depending on what kind of video you want. Maybe I want a shorts video. So let's go ahead and click on try. And as you can see, the video has been generated. So let's wait. So now, as you can see, it has been generated. So let's go Ranking ahead and play. your videos on YouTube can greatly increase increase your visibility and help you reach a wider audience. Here are three tips to improve your ranking on YouTube. Firstly, focus on optimizing your video title, description and tags. Use relevant and specific keywords that accurately describe your video content. This will help YouTube understand what your video is about and match it with relevant user searches. Secondly, strike So you can see that uh, the voiceover is beautiful, the everything has been pretty brilliant all that you can do over here is that it has also come up with this captions as well all that you probably can do is go ahead and change the b-rolls with something more meaningful if you wish to that is right you can just come over to this you can see the b-rolls over here so you can go ahead and replace them with whatever b-rolls you want to so that's how effective this text to video can be now let's head over to another useful ai features that filmora has now the next one is this one this is called the silence detection this is a very very important thing and this can save you hours of editing work right just go over to the silence detection and in here let us actually take any example of a clip say this one just for an example just double click on this and you can see it has been generated over here now what this does is that it gives you all the silence parts right you can see over here so you can just come over to this uh, analyze and as you can see on one click it has given you all the silent parts right so what you can do is that you can one click delete all of these silences right just select them and hit on delete if you wish to now as you can see it has actually provided you the silence clips over here you can see all the silence part have been actually identified at one go now what you can do is that you can go ahead and delete them from this part what happens is that during our takes sometimes we actually fumble something or we keep shut for some time and those are actually captured in the video so we can get released of all of that in one go over here and once this is done i'll click on export to timeline and as you can see all the silence part has been already deleted over here and what we have come up is a nice little timeline that is there without any kind of silence right so all of this video now has all of the active parts of the video so this is another important stuff that it has now next i'm going to show you something even more interesting which goes one cut above the silence detection this is called ai text based editing now in here again let's choose the same file and as you can see it's asking which language the video is in so it can auto detect it as well don't worry about that and once this conversion would be done it would show us the text for each of the words that are being said within the video so let's wait so basically what it does is that it does the silence detection and also you have the ability to text-based edit as well now let me show you how in here these dots these indicates the silence as you can see as i selected this part over here this part was actually selected automatically now i can go ahead and delete this manually by hitting the delete button right or what i can do is that i can click on delete all silent clip at once and if i hit on that you can see all the silent clips have been deleted now 
sometimes we fumble, right? We don't uh, have the exact take. Say, for example, let me show you on this part over here. And as you can see over here, hello, guys, this is Shine is over here. And then again, hello, guys, this is Shine is over here. So this is a repetition of a part. And I can see this over here, right? So it's very easy for me to delete a part of it. I can just select this and hit on delete. And boom, not only the words, but also the entire video part would be deleted at one go. So this actually makes sure that you don't have any kind of duplication, any kind of repetition in your final video. So this is a real, real breakthrough in terms of editing. And this can save you a lot of time right so once you are done with this you can just click on export to timeline and boom it would be exported and on top of this you can actually go ahead and add all your elements as per your requirements so this can really really save you a ton of time now you can also go ahead and generate ai music as well so for that we just need to go over to audio and in here as you can see there is ai music we can come over here and we can choose the mood say happy then the theme uh, say just for an example let it be motivational and then on the genre, let's select uh, pop and beats maybe, right? So once this is done, we can click on try and boom, it would actually go ahead and generate it for us. So let's wait. And as you can see, it has generated. So let's play. So this was one version. Then let's go ahead and play another. So you can see it sounds quite good, right? So you can actually have three versions of them, right? And all of these three sounds quite good. So you can use them as the, your background music and you're not going to get any kind of copyright. Now you can just hit on this download and it would be downloaded and added to your library. So that's how easy it is. Now, sometimes what happens is that whatever we speak, we try to actually have a B-roll for that, right? We maybe want to add an image to that, but we are, say for example, I'm not getting an image that actually resembles what I'm saying. So what I can do is that I can come over to stock media and in here I have an AI image. And from here, as you can see, I've generated many of these AI images. Say for example, you are uh, telling about a beautiful girl, you can use this image for that, right? So you can just go ahead and create your AI images. And as you can see, I have actually created all these images. Say for example, this a little boy over here learning from different notebooks and all these can be definitely used in documentaries you must have seen these kind of images on Rubrati's video and all the big creators videos right so that's how you can use them as well now last but not the least I want to show you one more thing over here you can just come over to your timeline right click on that and in here you have an option called speech to text click on that and this actually allows you to generate voiceover now you can generate it in any language that you want to right you can generate it for the entire timeline or for a particular clip as well and you can even translate it as well so all of that is a possibility now with that being said you also have the option to close your voice as well so all of that are included in ai capabilities of filmora now if you wish to learn more about filmora i would recommend you watching this little video over here which is a complete guide to start your filmora journey and remember i have got you covered with the highest rated course on video editing as well using filmora if you wish to take a look at that it is on udemy you can check on the link below in the description with that being said we are going to move over to our second tool and this is very important in creating visual effects within your videos the tool that i was talking for is Leonardo AI and this can be used to generate any kind of images that you wish to generate for your videos not only images you can even go ahead and generate motion videos as well now if I go over to my personal feed you can see all of these I have generated using Leonardo and these are quite amazing right so you can see over here all of these stuffs are quite amazing you can see you can even train your model as well as you can see over here this is a picture of my me a graphical representation and you can see over here you have this option of converting this into a motion file as well so if i click on this and if i click on generate it will generate a video file from this image so you can use this as your b-roll you can also use leonardo ai to generate attractive thumbnails you can also use it to generate some call outs or some banners that you want to include in your videos and the opportunities are actually endless and as you can see the video has been generated over here so you can go ahead and check out this you can also download this and use it with any video editor in the world so that's how powerful it is now now let's go ahead and actually think about the best case utilization of this tool what happens is that we must have seen in different documentary kind of videos or explainer kind of videos. Say, for example, you are talking about underemployment or unemployment as a problem in your state or in your country, right? So from there, you want a graphical illustration of that as well. So what you can do is that you can come over to Leonardo by clicking the link below and sign up for absolutely free. And then on the Leonardo, you just need to go over to this presets. And on the presets, you need to choose a cinematic Kino. 
because this kind of gives better thing and then on the preset you can choose a cinematic or you can even choose a close-up or a bokeh mode as well then on the generation quality i will go for quality mode and then on the image dimension depending on where you are going to use the image if it is a short video you can choose a short format if it is a long video you can use a long format right and then the number of generation as you can see over here then on the advanced settings i just need to make sure that the photo reel is turned on because this gives more realistic images now once all of these are set we'll come over here and type in a prompt pretty quickly now i've quickly given a prompt now you can also go ahead and add an image reference to this as well a style reference all of that can be done now i've got you covered with a complete leonardo ai tutorial as well if you wish to check that out you can click on this card or click the link below in the description with that being said as you can see the images are being generated so let's wait and look at these these are quite amazing right so you can see it, the frustration is pretty much visible in the face right and to understand that it's a young educated uh, guy you can see uh, there is a backpack right behind his back and you can see the hairs are really fluttering here and there so he is not at all in a good state of mind you can understand that so you can have this kind of images going in the background and that can definitely give a more visual epicness to your video right so with that being said this is how you can use leonardo ai now if you want to learn more about how to use leonardo ai i would leave the links in the description of different leonardo ai tutorials that you can take a look at with that being said, it brings us to our third AI tool and this is by far the most interesting tool because in using this tool, you don't have to do any work, but still you can leverage different platforms to bring in more viewers, more eyeballs to your videos, more reach to your videos and more money to your videos as well. Now, this tool is called Opus Clip. Now, what Opus Clip can do is that it can convert any long form videos into multiple viral short form videos with all the things done for you. It has the automatic face detection, automatic framing capabilities as well. It can select the virality part of the video as well. All of that in automated mode. With that being said, you can even upload your video in here or you can drop your YouTube video link. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. Now, say for example, I have this little video over here. So let's go ahead and copy this link and let's go back to Opus Clip and let's paste it over here now as soon as i done that you can see it has fetched the video and in here you have the option of ai clipping as you can see so you can select what range you want to clip right so i want to clip parts of around one minutes 30 second to 59 second and then i can add a keyword on where i want to clip that is i can include the keywords that i want it to clip from right and then in here i have a credit server as well in where i can mention the time from within which it wants to clip so i'll give a first three minutes right and once this is done, I'll just go over here and click on generate. And as you can see, the project has been submitted successfully. So let's wait. So as you can see, it has been generated. So let's click on this. Now, as you can see over here, it has converted it into a clip over here and it has got the entire transcript over here as well. So if you wish to, you can directly publish it as well, or you can click on edit clip to use AI to edit this as well. Let me show you that as well. Now, as you can see, it has got the speaker detection and it has got this centered over here. So let's play this and hear this. Stay tuned till the end of this Heijin AI tutorial. Hey, welcome to this Heijin AI complete tutorial. And as you can see over here, this is the dashboard of Heijin AI. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial as I told you. Very so you can see over here, this is a long form video that I have, which is a conventional YouTube long form video. And this has been converted into a short. Now, in here, say for example, I have this uh, webcam kind of view and then I have the entire screen as well. So for this, what I can do is that I can select this clip and then I can go over to layout and on the layout, I can click on screen share. Just click on that and what you can see over here is that on the top, I have the entire screen and on the bottom, there is the speaker. So now if I play this, it would be more meaningful. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial as I told you very first. So the first thing that I wish you to know is how you can actually play around with Hagen AI templates, right? So so you can see that it's doing all of the stuff you can see over here it has got all these captions it has got these automated highlighted captions and it has got all of these scene detection all of this done you can also go ahead and change the layout anytime you want to you can even go ahead and actually edit any part of it if you want to delete any part it's as simple as select and hit on delete you can just remove the caption and video and it would be removed from the caption and the video as well right if you want to just delete the caption you can just go over here and delete it uh, the caption alone as well if you want to add a b-roll for this part you can just go ahead over the add b-roll and you can have an ai generated b-roll as well and it would be generated in a few moments as you can see it has been started over here now if you want to highlight any of these stuffs you can come over that select it 
and you can select on highlight right you can highlight with it with different colors as well so the opportunities are endless and as you can see without any kind of effort i can actually transform any of my existing videos into short form videos and then i can go ahead and upload it on instagram on facebook stories on youtube shorts wherever i want to and this can help me to monetize my video even more now, apart from this there are other options as well like you can play around with the captions you can have animations of it you can change the fonts you can have anything and everything about it right you can add emojis as well you can have overlays you can have ai keywords highlight you can add transitions to them you can even add text as well you can add transition and voiceover now it's impossible to cover this entire tool in a one single video so again if you wish to know more about opus clip then i'll leave a link below from where you can learn totally about opus clip that being said opus clip do require you to pay subscription that is per month plan the other two tools that is filmora they have a perpetual plan where you can get started for a small one time price leonardo you can get started for absolutely free as well but for opus clip there is a free plan as well but this that is limited you need to pay a subscription based amount to get started with opus clip right so in case if you are looking for a similar tool at a one time price then i would suggest you to get inside of rocket clips as you can see over here i use this in my regular videos and this does the same thing that is it can convert any long form videos into short form videos or it can add captions to it it can add progress bars to it and make it look more beautiful so this kind of editing can be done in case of shorts or reels editing this is very very vital to have so that being said rocket clips is available at a one time price till date but it might go into a subscription mode so if you want to check out my rocket clips review again i'll leave it in the description you can check that out anytime you wish so with that being said it brings me to an end of this tutorial where i've shown you different ai tools that can actually cut your time short while editing and i really hope that this can be very very useful for your daily life and if you have enjoyed this video please help me with a like let me know in the comment section if you want to learn about any other tools that you would be interested in learning i would try to create a video on that as well so that's it for today and we'll meet again on the next one. Until then, take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to check out the links in the description. I've got you covered with everything. So we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online. Signing off is Cheyenne. Take care. Bye-bye.